folding backwards like they're arching backwards as you step forward I want you to then snap okay so you'll actually front hamstring step out your hand is gonna actually be arched backwards as you step forward you're gonna then snap and I want your fingertips to move forward okay, I want you to use that to give it a go right and once he exits I want his hand to be back and he's gonna actually snap forward okay not into another front hamstring step out but just feel that snap come back and try it again back up so you guys are going to try this. Alex does a good work. Okay, good job. Arching them back and then snap. Correct, correct. Give that a go. You need to get to your brain when you're doing front tumbles. John is okay, fucking in now. Does he ever not have something wrong? Those of you that ask you to go ahead and snap, okay, you started to feel yourself stand up and try and get your head forward. There's a really, really nasty chain reaction that's going to happen when you do that. Okay, the minute Thank that you, you start bringing your head forward, your chest is going to come in and then you're going to sit. Yeah, it happens yeah. all the time. You have to be careful of that. You got to be really, really careful. So this time, can you, when you, before you try to make a snatch effort, which some of you might not even need to try and snap, I want you to just look at the ceiling and run out of it. Try to look at the ceiling. Okay, but don't try and be in a rush for yourself to see the ceiling. Wait for it to come to you. And then don't, so in other words, don't kick the hands in. You do me. This is, the ceiling will come. And look at your thumbs. No, 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 stay back. The ceiling will come. It will come, it will come, it will come. There it is. Now you can follow it. Yeah? That's a really important concept. Don't be in a rush, okay? Leave it back. When it comes, then you can snap, okay? Then you can go for your thing. Then step forward. Then step forward. Then step forward. Then step forward. Correct. 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 Good. Right, if you cannot do two in a row, don't worry. Okay, if you can do two in a row, try two in a row. Again, the same concept. You need to wait and then snap, okay? Give it, go ahead, try it. If they mess up the plan, just like... Hi, girl. That's okay, don't worry about it. Standing back hands. Okay, and what I want you to do is after you finish the back hands, we just back and roll out. So back hands, we back and roll. Which one do you start by? Oh, that's good, because that's the day that I really need you to be there just to see what you need. Okay, no worries. No worries. Can you do backwards roll and then back handspring? So the kind, the, the kind of backwards roll I want back is not a back extension roll. It's going to be a very, very small roll to the ball. You're going to stay in a very small hole. You're going to owe me on Friday. You're going to be over here for two hours to recardio. Get that again. Back and roll, I'll be getting back in. Then go. Well done, Steve. Good. And then back and roll, and back in. And back and roll, and back in. And push back, and back and roll. Good. The last one, guys, and then we're going to come in and I'll talk to you a little bit about some things. Last one we're going to try is forward roll, then back handspring. So you need to come a little bit forward. You'll do forward roll and then back handspring. Now be very careful. Some of you guys, you need to be careful on this one, okay? Listen carefully. If you try to rush and go into a back handspring from this, you're going to get a rude awakening. <laughs> you need to wait. The whole point of this is to wait to push back. If you do forward roll and right away back handspring, you're in big trouble. You need to wait for yourself to shift backwards. Yeah? If you're very, very clever, only you guys maybe try this. Only. Maybe you can go forward roll, back handspring, backward roll, back handspring. Forward roll, back handspring, backward roll, back handspring. And now you have to wait because you get, listen, I see loads of guys try this and not think and focus. You can land on your head. You need to think about what you're doing. Okay? Forward roll, back handspring. Give it a try. See if you can do it without swinging your arms. Yeah. I'm gonna video this. Don't swing your arms, Alex. Don't swing. <laughs> so listen, when you forward, don't bring your arms to here. Leave them out in front. Leave them out in front. Turn out.
Way don't go. Leave him in front. Okay, now you start to feel a little bit of weight in the face. How are you looking when, you guys are, when your hands are on the floor in a back hands? Does anybody know? So, 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 so tell me kind of though, but here's the thing. You guys are saying a couple different things and I can interpret that in many different ways. You're saying forward. What do you mean when you say forward? Because here's the thing. If, if he gets upside down, kick up the handstand, look up. See, how come, what if he's looking this way? That could be up. He's looking down, but he thinks he's looking up, right? So we need to think about, okay, what, exactly where people are looking and we need to be clear about this. Yeah? Okay? Here's what we're gonna do. Jordan's gonna do a back handspring. Jordan has to look when his hands go down on the blue at this red map. Yeah? Then do a back handspring. Start at the top, make sure you look at the red when your hands go down. Correct. Okay, and that's a really important thing. Here's the reason why. We're gonna, we're gonna challenge you. Come here, bro. Come here. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Jordan's goal is I'm really interested to see if he can do a backhand spring without chucking his head back. He's gonna work together with his arms, okay, and his ears. That's a really important thing. So we're gonna make it so that it's harder. It's like we're acting like Not impossible, but it's harder for him to chuck his head back. Yeah? Oh, no. So, lift your head. You see, it's hard, isn't it? It's quite difficult, right? Okay, so listen, listen. Jordan, before you go, you got to use your arms and your ears together, yes? Yes? Oh, right. my God. Now, how weird did that feel? Did that really, happen? really odd, yes? Really odd. Here's why this is a bad habit, guys. Okay? I'm going to tell you why. For Jordan to arrive in that handstand shape we were talking about, okay? Jordan has to be careful that he doesn't chuck his head back too much. And the reason why is because if the head is leading the way, he's probably going to end up in a handstand with a shoulder angle. Okay? So he's going to land in a handstand where his shoulders are forwards, okay, and his arms are out in the, uh, underneath. Him. When he snaps, where does his snap go if he does that? Straight down. It's going to go downwards for sure. Yeah. It's going to go down. It's going to be very difficult for Jordan to try to get from handstand to feet. Okay? So that he's leaning, you know, so that he's in the right, right. Position.